Fundamentally, the future is vastly more exciting and interesting if we're a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species than if we're not. You want to be inspired by things. You want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great. Uh, and that's what, uh, what being a space-faring civilization is all about. And I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. I, I think we have figured out how to pay for it. This is very important. <laughs> the next key element is propulsive landing. In order to land on on places like the moon where there is no atmosphere or to land on Mars, you really have to get propulsive landing perfect. We do not need legs for the next version. We are um, now beginning serious development of BFR. We expect to have a payload capability of 150 tons to low Earth orbit. Main body diameter is about, is about 9 meters or 30 feet. Let's look at the launch cost. The, the, order, the order reverses. The, the size of, of this being a 9 meter diameter vehicle is, is a huge enabler for new satellites. Uh, it's also intended to be able to service the, the space station. That would enable the creation of moon base alpha or, or some sort of lunar base. And it's, it's 2017, I mean we should have a lunar base by now. What the hell's going on? Why, why are you using combustion and rockets and you have electric cars? You're like, well there isn't some way to make an electric rocket. I wish there was. I feel fairly confident that we can complete the ship and be ready for a launch in about five years. Then in 2024, uh, we want to try to fly four ships. And um, yeah, and, and, and over time terraforming Mars and making it uh, really a nice place to be. But there's, uh, but there's something else. Um, if you build a ship that's capable of going to Mars, well, what if you take that same ship and go from one place to another on Earth? The great thing about going to space is there's no friction. So uh, once you're out of the atmosphere, it will be smooth as silk, no turbulence, nothing. There's no weather, there's no, there's no atmosphere. Uh, you can get to most long distance places, like I said, in less than half an hour. Thank you.